I want you to meet a friend of mine, Jojo. I met him at a farm animal sanctuary in the centre of France. This was his first day after being rescued from a broiler farm. A broiler farm is an intensive farm where chickens live to become meat. This is the first time he ever saw sunlight. The first time he walked on grass. The first time he was able to forage for food and scratch at the ground. He came here the day before he would have been sent to the abattoir. Sadly, his friends and family from the factory farm are now dead and have been eaten. Tell us about the farm where you live now, Jojo. This is a sanctuary for farm animals. Anyone who comes here is guaranteed to have a kind and loving home for life. What was it like on your first day? I felt a bit awkward because of the deformities in my legs and hips. That's because we grow too quickly at the other farm. What was it like where you used to live, Jojo? It was so different to where I live now. We were very unhappy and in a lot of pain most of our lives. I saw others get sick and die around me. The food was the same every day. Everything was the same every day. It was the same temperature, same ground. Nothing ever changed. It was noisy most of the time. I remember we felt confused and lost. I felt dead. I literally had to drag my feet. They felt very heavy. Tell us more about the day-to-day living conditions. I live with about 10,000 other chickens. It was very crowded, not much room to move. At this time, we are only six weeks old. We're just babies, but look how big we are. I don't know what they've done to us, but we grow to our full size in half the time. This means we often have problems with our limbs, broken bones and hip problems, so we have trouble walking. When this happens, we aren't able to get to food and water. I was lucky because I could still walk, but many of my friends would die because of this, of starvation and dehydration. We are deformed and crippled and our hearts simply cannot cope with how fast we grow. Oh, that's me, walking just near the door. This is at another farm, my distant cousins who live in Brittany. The farms are always very similar. I used to believe that hell was on some distant shore But now I'm aware of what goes on behind Where were you born door. and where did you grow up? I came to the factory farm when I was a day old and lived there for the first six weeks of my life. On the first day of my life I was born and lived in another farm. It was a special farm where there are male and female chickens living together. They lay the eggs to hatch into chickens, who will then live on the broiler farms. The chickens born from these eggs are especially those that will be eaten as meat. We all came from farms like this one. On the left are the chickens having babies to go to a leading fast food chain. On the right are the chickens having babies for organic chicken farms. The breed of the chicken is different, but the conditions are not. They are beautiful and inquisitive, almost regal but they are also oppressed and in pain. Are you in pain? Yes. Are you happy to be alive? I am now. I like the sunshine and being outdoors. The wind, the trees and plants make an incredible difference to my life. I know what it's like to be alive now. I didn't realise I was almost dead. I knew I didn't feel good and I knew something was missing. Everything feels like the way it should be now. It's like my body started working again. My natural instincts have taken over. I sleep when the sun goes down. I wake when it comes out. I eat when I'm hungry. And I drink when I'm thirsty. I seek companionship when I wish for it. I'm settled, happy and very grateful. What happened to your friends back at the farm? Thousands of my friends were gathered up, put into small crates and loaded onto the truck. Then they drive to the abattoir and you know what happens there. It's very traumatic and terrifying. What do chickens wish for? A peaceful life where we can forage amongst trees and bushes and explore with our friends. We talk to each other a lot, you know. Listen to us carefully, like any birds. We have our individual songs. Were you laying eggs at the farm? No. You would need to go and visit my friend Malika to meet the chickens that lay eggs. That's completely different. My friends here at the sanctuary were from one of those farms. Thanks, Jojo. See you later.